Hi everyone, this is Maya from Kinspired Life and I would like to welcome you to August numerology forecast. So let's get to it. So if you're new here, my name is Maya. Hello, welcome to my channel, Aligned Living by Design. I talk about personal development tips. I do monthly numerology forecasts, share some meditations, EFT practices, and vlogs from my life to inspire you to pursue your passions. Now let's dive into the August numerology forecast. What is the general vibe? August is number five. And that is all about change, switching things up, movement, travel, a lot of fun things. It can be a little hectic, but in a good way, I think. If you are kind of a person that resists change, now this will be your opportunity to try to get out of your comfort zone. Remember, change is always a good thing because it helps you grow, it helps you learn new things, and to help you make the most of this month, I'm going to share with you my five tips. So my tip number one would be try something new. This is a great opportunity for you to experiment, to try something that is new to you, maybe learn a new skill, try a new habit, whatever that is for you. Remember, it's all about experimenting this month. If you feel like you've been stuck in a rut for a while, this is a chance to switch things up, okay? It can literally be changing your route to work, or meeting friends that you haven't in a while, visiting a new place, trying a new hobby, changing up your style, even trying things that you wouldn't normally. In whatever way you can do something different, it's gonna help you see things from a different perspective, which is always a good idea, I feel. And especially if you've been stuck, if you need clarity, this is going to really help you kind of see the other perspective and perhaps find some solutions. This will be a great way to kind of figure things out and move forward forward with greater clarity. And that could also be reaching out to people you wouldn't think of normally. So stop, think about it, look at all of the important areas in your life and see where you could use a little bit of change and see what happens. One thing just to remember with trying new things, experimenting, changing things around, don't forget your big vision that you planned for last month and something that you're working towards. This is not about changing your path completely. It is meant to help you see things differently, give you clarity, help you gain some new experience so you can move forward towards your big vision with some new tools, if you know what I mean. So don't get too distracted. Just kind of use this opportunity to learn something new, change up your energy a little bit, and you'll have a fresh surge of energy moving forward and you will be able to manifest everything with greater ease once you do that. My tip number two is go on a trip. As I said, number five is all about change, movement, and travel. So if you can go on a road trip, take that trip that you wanted to for a while, but somehow you always keep postponing it. It can also be literally visiting a new place in town. I would really advise going out of town if possible, out of your normal situation. Again, when we move from our regular life and just change the environment, it helps us see things differently. And it helps you kind of notice things that you wouldn't before. And when you come back home, you will have a different perspective. You will probably even experience new things and meet new people that can give you maybe some new information. Sometimes we have a regular conversation with someone, but something that they say clicks. And that's exactly what can happen when we get out of our environment and open up to new possibilities. And that's the kind of energy you want to tap into this month. Really opening up for new possibilities and seeing where it takes you. My tip number three would be to pursue your passions and interests. I dare to say even forgotten ones. 
perhaps it's something that you've been wanting to do for a while but never dare to but also it could be a hobby or something that you've done as a kid and over the years you just kind of stopped doing it it might be a good idea to kind of revisit those hobbies those passions that excited you before and again to wake up that sleeping energy within you that fire that passion that you have inside but has been a little bit silenced from life you know life happens to all of us and sometimes you know you lose track of all the things that get you excited about life so if you can tap into that energy and really look at all the things that excite you that could really get you passionate about life again if you have lost it and if you're already doing it keep it up this is a great time to tap into your creativity all the fun things that you want to be doing it's gonna help boost your energy and just give it a little refresh my tip number four would be get out of your comfort zone maybe you're a person who doesn't really like change and that's honestly a lot of people as I noticed the one thing that I can share from my personal experience is that when I realized that change is the only constant in this life in this world it really made my life easier knowing that change is a constant and that it's something that you can always expect it just kind of preps you for anything that comes and I have taught myself to get out of my comfort zone from time to time it helped me face my fears become more confident and more determined to pursue my dreams so if you can even a little bit get out of your comfort zone it's really gonna help you get that energy that you need to manifest what you desire go for your dreams take that inspired action with greater confidence so if you are afraid of speaking in public maybe it could be having a little presentation even if it's in front of your friends regarding something that you're passionate about if you're afraid of heights maybe trying out rock climbing or something that feels like a little bit of a challenge or if you are an introvert and don't feel comfortable around people it might be a good idea to go on an outing and meet new people on your own in whatever capacity that feels good to you try something at least one thing that you can do this month to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and see what happens what I discovered on my personal journey is that in the end it turns out that it wasn't as scary as I thought in my head oftentimes we build up this fear in our mind that feels so overwhelming but once we actually do it we realize that it wasn't actually that bad I don't know about you let me know if this resonates but I personally have found every single time that it wasn't so scary so that's why I always try to get out of my comfort zone as much as I possibly can push myself a little bit because it really helps me grow so try it and see what happens let me know when you do it in the comments below I would really like to hear from you guys and see how you managed to stretch yourself and what it brought you you might be surprised at what kind of opportunities arise from such a bold action and finally make a change in your life it doesn't have to be drastic it can literally be switching up your routine it doesn't have to be big it can be really small and actually i advise you not to make drastic changing nothing too dramatic okay this is not really a time for transformation but it is a good time to switch things up number five is actually in the middle of the cycle so in the last four months we've been building a vision uh, tweaking focusing on things that make us happy making a plan taking those steps forward creating foundation for where we want to be by the end of this year and when five comes it's time to kind of look back see okay what worked what didn't what could I change moving things forward to help you get to your big vision easier so these are the kind of changes that I'm talking about it could be trying uh, something new in your work maybe in your business you're gonna test a new offer it's time to test things out so putting your new offer out there seeing how people respond to it or cut your hair in a different way maybe create a new morning routine try drinking matcha instead of coffee try being a vegan for a month and see how that feels in your body try a new workout whatever can help you break that routine a bit see how it feels and experiment a little bit 
as I said, this month is really about experimenting, trying new things, learning new things, doing things we're passionate about, stepping out of our comfort zone, getting out of our environment, meeting new people, socializing, getting some fresh new insights. Because once we do all that, we can then come back to our plan that we made last month, and I hope you did it. And then we can approach it once again with some new tools, new insights, and new experience that we haven't had before and that can help us move forward with some fresh energy when we have such fun energy it's really good to play with it and see where it takes us but still keeping in mind our big vision so i hope these tips resonate let me know in the comments below what are your intentions for this month and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned when i upload next i'm sending you loving support and wishing you an amazing month Namaste.